Hey everybody, Ron here with uh, Roy Family Homestead. <clears throat> and we've got a couple of projects we're going to do today. I'm going to bring you in here into our little barnyard. Um, with all this heat and everything that we've got here in North Carolina, uh, we're worried about our goats not having enough water. Uh, me and Miss Penny, we both have full-time jobs, so trying to keep the uh, water filled up for these guys is has been a been a chore and we need to make sure these goats have plenty of water i'm kind of kind of pan down here so you can see this that right there is a i don't know a tire bucket or whatever but it only holds about five gallons and we've got we've got five uh nigerian dwarf goats um uh, and we're figuring they're drinking a gallon and a half two gallons a day so that's 10 gallons so this you know we're coming up short Fortunately enough, um, I'm able to come home at lunchtime and, and, you know, I get them filled back up to make sure that they've got plenty of water. Uh, so I've come up with uh, an idea. It's not an original idea, but um, I'm using a 55-gallon drum. You'll see them sitting over here. And these are food grade. They actually had vinegar in them. I'm going to use that as my feed water feed basically it's going to hold the water then i'm going to have a hose going to a smaller drum uh, with a float in it uh, and that that's going to provide about 70 gallons of water total 55 out of this one and the and the uh the half drum that i'm going to make um holds about 16 and a half gallons or so so that's going to give us around around 70 gallons um which should be more than plenty. Matter of fact, it's probably going to water them for an entire week. So let's get it started. All right, everybody. Uh, basically, this is a 33-gallon drum. Uh, I think it had pharmaceuticals in it. Uh, it's been thoroughly washed and all that. Uh, this is going to be the watering or reservoir, I guess you want to call it. Uh, it's going to hold the water. And the reason it's cut kind of funny like it is, is I could not find a barrel that had a, of this size that had a solid top on it with just like some little screw-in caps. So I had to get this one, and in order to make sure that this was going to stay airtight, you know, I, I left this extra here just for some extra strength to hold this band on. Uh, I tested it. It doesn't leak, uh, so we should be good to go. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a 55-gallon drum feeding into this, and here's the parts that, that basically you're going to need. This, right, this piece right here will actually screw in. I'm going to put it about midway here, in here, uh, and mount it. The float is going to screw in right here, screw into this piece right here. I'm going to use some Teflon tape and all that good stuff, okay? And that's, that's going to sit in here like this. Um, it's going to be fed again by a 55-gallon drum full of water. And this setup here is what's going in the the side the bottom part of the uh, 55 gallon drum um, I wanted to go ahead and get a faucet or a uh, spigot type so that in the winter time if we have any issues with uh, the water freezing or anything like that I can shut that off uh, to uh, eliminate anything getting busted you know by freezing so we're gonna get this started uh, I'm gonna cut some legs I make a little stand out of this. I'm going to have the, the, the lip here about 14 inches off the ground, which should be plenty, you know, should be low enough for the goats, but not too low that they're going to try to climb up in it and everything. And I'm thinking right here on the side, I've got, um, I call it pig nipples, the pig waters. And I'm thinking about putting one of those on the sides so that the baby goats can get up there if they'll use it. And it's not going to hurt anything if it's sticking out there, and, and uh, maybe we can get the other goats, uh, you know, the smaller goats to uh, use it. So, uh, all right, we're going to get building.
All right, guys, you know, <clears throat> I had mentioned that uh, we had a couple of projects. Uh, the other project is basically similar to what I'm going to be doing as far as making the uh, goat water. Um, is this right here? Um, on one of my other videos, I showed how we how we built this, but basically it's a a rain catcher, and it is doing very well for Miss Penny's greenhouse. Got a hose running there, and she can water all her plants. And check out that video. But anyway. Um, it's doing so well that we can get just a little bit of rain and that thing will start overflowing. So what I'm going to do is you can see where the indention is, the handle right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into it about right up underneath that lip with the same piece that I showed you with the spigot on it. I'm going to hook a piece of hose to it and I'm going to drop down, you know, maybe, I don't know, a couple of feet or so and have it feed into another drum which will be sitting about, I don't know, maybe this high off the ground, you know, with a, uh, a ta or with a piece coming out that you can hook a hose to. And the reason I'm doing that is, again, just for, you know, more water. Um, and that way Penny can come out here and she can water her herb gardens. Uh, this is our potato bed. We've got a whole bunch of potatoes out of this little bed right here. But that way she can come out here, water her, herbs and all that stuff and not have to worry about dragging a hose around um, and we don't want to put too big a hose in there because then that's just going to take up more space so uh, so that's basically we're going to do the same thing I'm just going to tap into the top of this one when it, as it starts to overflow or when it reaches that certain point it will fill into the other barrel which is again not going to be quite as high because it won't need to be because she's not going to be up here this high trying to water something it's all going to be at ground level all right so let's get started all right so basically this is going to be part one of the build where we uh go ahead and drill the holes in these barrels um you know for these outlets uh, as you can see i got me a few tools got me some teflon tape i've already got the the hole cutter put on my drill for the smaller one which is this one right here which will go which is going to go in this lid and then i've got the larger one that i'll change out for this to actually go in the bottom of the bucket and i'm going to go you know, right about in here somewhere okay now this one's going to be a little harder because i have to go down in there to screw the end on so that's going to be real fun but anyway uh spoke to the gentleman that i buy my barrels from and he throws the barrel after he drills the holes he puts the uh, outside piece in and then he flips it over on his head and somehow screws it in the last time i did one of these i actually laid it on the ground just crawled in there and tightened it up had miss penny hold the hold the outside but so we'll see how that goes this one right here this is going to be real simple i don't know how well you can see that but that's the center mark uh was already there basically so and I'm going to mount that dead center, and then I can adjust the float uh, accordingly so that it doesn't overflow. All right, so I'm going to pull this camera back a little bit and get it set back up, and uh, so y'all can see me see me drilling these holes. <clears throat> All right, guys. So this is a you know this is a pretty simple process, um, but uh, just want to make sure this water tight. And all these, and uh, you won't be able to see this too well, but both of these types of, I don't know what you call them, fittings, like with this one right here, it has a black rubber washer on it, and the big one has a real thick, heavy washer, and I think it has to be because of the curvature of the barrel. Uh, when you hook this in, it kind of conforms to that, so it gives you a good watertight seal. The... Um, the rain catch barrel that we did for the greenhouse um, it seems to be doing fine no leaks or anything and I actually mounted it to the bottom you know just to get the most pressure you know gravity fed pressure that I could get all right so without any further ado let's get this drilled and, and tapped for you hopefully you see this all right well that was easy as all get out but anyway so here we go
So you want this to go from the inside out because this part actually screws onto the water hose. And it's a little tight, which is a good thing. We want to make sure this is good and snug. And I hope the one for the big barrel is, is as snug as this, so it won't be so hard for me trying to tighten it up while I got my head stuck in that 55 gallon barrel. Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, then we're gonna put this piece on. Man, I got me a couple of tools here. sure we get this you want to get it tight enough so that the uh, the rubber washer starts to compress and that lets you know you got a good watertight seal of course we'll test it and everything but I think we're gonna be fine and there you go well, there it is and uh, I'll show you how we're gonna set that up real quick that goes back on on top there Put the snap ring back on. Yeah, I wish I could have found one of these that had uh, that had the solid top, like the blue barrel, the big blue barrel there. I think that'll work. And it does have a spot here where I can put something in there, to lock it in place, and that's what I'll probably do. So, all right, guys, I'm going to bring the camera up a little bit closer so you can see exactly what I was talking about with the float here. Put something under that so it don't move. All right, so there it is. That's the that's the start of it. And we've got this float here. I got these off of Amazon. They're they're pretty cheap. Uh, just see how they hold up. But basically, it's just like a toilet float. You know, when the water reaches, it's just like this. When the water hits that spot right there, it turns the water off. And as it drips down, or as it's drank down. It opens up and fills up. Now this is a low pressure uh, float. If you get a high pressure one, one that you have to hook a water hose up to, it won't work because there's um, the hole in it is so small. It just it'll drip, but it, it's not going to fill it up. And then basically you just screw it in here. And I'm going to come back with some Teflon tape because this is a little bit uh, it's kind of loose. You can feel the threading's a little bit loose. So I'm going to come back with some Teflon tape. And I'll have to move this, I'll have to loosen this up, move the lid around because I want to get it good and tight and see that's not right. It's going to have to be, it has to set like this right here. And again, you know, I've got a, water's going to feed from the big tank into here. It's going to fill up and it's going to stop hopefully right, you know, I want it maybe a half inch below the lip, you know, of the barrel. But that's it guys. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll get, I'll move the camera again and we'll get back to, uh, to the big one here. All right, guys, uh, we're back. Got to change this hole saw out real quick. Hope it won't be too big a challenge here on me. And I will, I will give you all a little something. When you change these, these bits out, don't tighten this down just so tight that, you know, trying to torque it down or anything. Because what, as it's uh, boring the hole, uh, it's going to tighten up, and I've had some trouble getting these things loose a couple, you know, once or twice. Yeah, and uh, what do they say? Measure once, cut twice. So here's the fitting I want, and this fits right, just barely does fit over the top of it. If there is, if it is a little, just a tiny bit big, that's okay. Uh, but you want it as snug as possible. So get this put on here. And really there is no place on this barrel where it, it matters one way or another where I'm going to place the hole. I just want to get it, just got to make sure, I don't want to drill it too far down because these big, you know, these the, the, the big part of this. So if I put it too low, I'm never going to be able to screw it up tight. So I'm going to come up about, I don't know, I want to say 
two and a half, three inches up. And what that'll do too is any sediment that's in there will stay at the bottom and it won't wash into the into the float and stop it up, you know, so that may help there also. So let's go ahead and get these. Alrighty. So let's drill us a hole. And like I said, I'm going to come up. There's a line right here on this barrel. I think if I come up right above that line, I'm going to be okay. So let's... Maybe I should have chucked it up a little bit tighter. <laughs> but, uh, and this is a lot thicker barrel than that, that small one, which is fine. There we go. Got that out. And all right, guys. Look at that. I got me a nice, clean, pretty hole. And we're going to see. We'll see how close this fits. Now, this is a reverse thread. The guy that I bought it, that I got it from, he said, now make sure. It's the same guy that sell, sells me the barrels. Um, he sells these like $5 a piece. Now that's not for the spigot, but and that is going to fit in there loose on me. So that's going to make it real fun trying to hold this and screw that in at the same time. But we're going to we're going to give it a give it a whirl. Um, well, this is like I said, this is real. This is going to be fun here. So y'all can uh, watch and. Laugh at me, laugh with me, whatever. Because I may actually have to get, get on the ground and crawl in this thing, but, but let's see. But what he told me to do, if you're doing this by yourself, is you take your two pieces. This is a plastic washer that goes on the inside. There's a rubber washer, a thick rubber washer on the outside. He said he takes, and he sticks this sticks his in his finger, takes that bucket and he throws it over his head. Then he puts his finger inside there to hold it in place and takes his other hand to tighten it up. <laughs> we fixed to find out. Oh, man. There we go. Well, guys, I know y'all can't see me here. Let's start turning this camera on. <laughs> Can you see me in here? And you just tighten this thing down real good. See what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Okay. And I'll have to kind of move this. Don't want to loosen it where I put it together. Hey guys, that was pretty simple. Now I am gonna go back in there and tighten that up with a with a, a wrench or something. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. This again, and I don't have anything to really. Well, let's just do it this way. This is what we're doing. We're taking taking this it's going to be sitting on the ground right like like so about 14 inches off the ground water's going to feed from here into the back of this it's going to fill up the float's going to stop it and our goats are going to have you know 70 gallons of fresh water plus with with it being in a barrel you don't have to worry about it getting nasty and dirty another good thing about this i just thought about is with this being having a lid on it if I have to take pop that lid off and get in here and clean this out it'll be easy I you know I can just shut the main off clean this out real good cut it back on we got fresh clean water just in case they do get some trash in it or the chickens jump up here and they poop in it or something like that we can we can take care of it so but anyway this is the uh, this is the first part of the build this is the you know uh, all I've got to do now is I'm gonna build a little stand I'm probably not going to record that it's, it's just I'm, I'm just going to build a, a simple square box pretty much out of two befores to set this on uh, this is the same way I'm just going to make like a little frame for it to kind of nestle in um, gonna look like a, a crib kind of deal I guess basically for this you know for this to set in uh, once I get that built then we'll go into the setup part of it I'll get it all put together uh, out there in our little barnyard Whew. I'm telling you guys it is hotter and I'll get out out here, but Sam should leave my stuff alone. He's over here chewing on my my uh, tool belt. But right there, there's our setup. I'm filling the 50 gallon drum up right now, or 55 gallon drum up right now. See the goats are already checking it out. I've washed that out, so there's just a little bit of water left in there, and I'm gonna turn this around so you can see it a little bit better. 
All right, guys, here's the setup. I've got the 55 gallon drum outside. I haven't got the hose hooked up to here yet because the hose is really long. I'm trying to figure out how to get it coiled up so it'll be still be higher. I ain't figured that part out yet, but we'll do that here in just a minute. But you see, there you go. The floats, the floats in place. Uh, I did add the little pig nipple, I call it, but uh, maybe the babies will come over and learn how to use it. They're already using. See that bucket right there? That's got five. Uh, water nipples on it for the chickens and uh, the baby goats are <laughs> are using it so I figure if they know how to use that they'll learn how to use this and Samson's already over here getting him a little drink of that water after I rinse this thing out so guys we're gonna do a test run real quick this drum should be getting just about getting full and then we'll turn it on and see what happens okay everybody uh, I uh, had to actually cut the hose it was just way too it was a 15 foot hose and as you can see i only need about maybe 18 inches or so so i cut cut the hose uh went to the hardware store and got a male connector uh to put on the water apart and i'm gonna hand this over to miss penny and we're gonna oh yeah look hopefully that's lady Hopefully Lady will uh, learn to use the water nipple that I put on the end of this thing. So, all right, let her come, let her finish come around here. All right guys, uh, the 55 gallon drum is full and under any other circumstance, I'd go ahead and fill this also, but we're in the test phase right now, so we're going to go ahead and turn it on, make sure that water's flowing in there, and I may have to adjust that float so that it doesn't overfill or if it's too low. I want to, I want to get it about a quarter to a half inch from the, from the edge of the, uh, the barrel. So here we go, Miss Penny, you want to put it down there on that float, see if you see any water coming out. Let's hope we get some water there. Look at that. How's it coming out? Pretty good? Yeah. This is, this is a gravity fed system, so it's not going to be real fast. That's not, that's not too bad because as they're drinking, you know, it's going to refill. So that's actually pretty good. Let me see if it's going to stop. Oh yeah, I think we're going to be all right. Because there's going to be more pressure on it than that. It does have a little bit of a drip there. I had to let this water hose run a little bit because it was scalding hot water coming out of here. So we're going to go ahead and help this along for the first fill up. But like I said, on this right here, we're going to have around 70 gallons of water at all times. So that's going to be pretty nice. <clears throat> and because this is about that little thing right there, if Miss Pierce show you, I think I showed it to you earlier, that holds about five gallons. This thing here holds about 16 gallons, give or take. So um, I don't think they'll ever drink it down before it would have to fight the, you know, to fit, try to fill up. So, all right, I'm going to get right up here. Right about there. Plus, I can see how level this thing is to the ground. It looks like I've got you know, about an inch and a half, two inches on this side, and about the same on this side. So it's pretty, it's pretty level. Looks even, pretty much across here. Maybe a little down on that end, but we'll see. Now, like I said, y'all, I want this to get up maybe about about to the even about up to the screw right here. 
about a half inch from the top. Ooh. Yeah, it's water, buddy. And guys, the only thing that I'm really worried about is this right here, this float with these goats. If they start messing with that, they could break it because it's just plastic. But I got a plan. I think I'm going to take a, a piece of the, uh, what is it, that six, four inch or whatever, the big PVC, thin wall PVC pipe. I'm going to cut me a piece about this long. Cut and flare it. I'm going to heat it up with a heat gun and flare the ends and then screw it right up here. There's no wall. We don't have to worry about it leaking up here. And screw that in place so I've got like a little shield so that they don't mess with, with this. Another thing too, probably gonna have to drill a small hole in the top just so that it can get air so it don't create a vacuum and not let the water flow. All right guys, we're slowly but surely filling up. Let's see if my let's check see if my nipple works. Oh yeah. Hi right, guys, uh I just uh push this up here it's got to go that far up before it ever stops so I'm gonna go ahead and do some adjusting here on this basically just loosen up this wing nut drop this down some tighten her back up see now it stops so I don't want to go quite that much I want a little bit just a little bit more water in it It must have been just fixing to shut off, I guess. All right, guys. Well, it looks like it's going to work perfect for what we want. Uh, come back and make sure them goats ain't messing with that float. Uh, this is going to give them plenty of fresh water uh, like i said before you know we have to come out here twice a day luckily enough you know i get to come home at lunch so you know i check the water then to make sure that it's full um, so hopefully this will keep them in some good fresh water now i am going to work on the what we call it the greenhouse rainwater catcher and add another one but it's basically the same thing is this right here uh, when I get done with it I'll just show it to you I'm gonna put it on a stand about four foot tall about a foot lower than the original I'm gonna tap into the um, original tank come out with the hose and just go into the top of the, the tank like this and that'll be it so so guys here's our animal watering system uh, I think it's gonna do us do us good Y'all, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, y'all have a great day.